And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder, live from the Moon Tower Comedy Festival in Austin, Texas. Crackle, crackle. Welcome to the Live Moon Tower. Live Moon Tower? The Live Moon Tower at Bonfire Fest. We're going live all Moon Tower. <laughs> it's Bonfire live in Moon Tower. My voice sounds like I just got the shit kicked out of me. You're doing all right. You're having a rough go. Huh, dude, I got real Buck Soder voice this weekend. You don't even drink. How'd you get all fucking whacked out? Yeah. Barbecue? Just ripping you apart? Yeah, barbecue and smoking pot and taking NyQuil at night. Why are you taking NyQuil at night? Because I'm dangerous. Because <laughs> my dreams don't want to see me angry. What? Why don't you just go back to drinking booze if you're going to do that? I because mean, this is well. way crustier. Just chicken the ass? Yeah, sipping scissor. <laughs> That's my new shit. Uh, but, I mean, I've been, like, you know, obviously incredibly stoned out of my mind every night at the after parties. And just and full one, of meat. Full of meat. I got meat sweats and weed paranoia. Oh, dude, I took a I took a vicious meanie this morning. I'll tell you this. Uh, squatty potty. If you're listening, sponsor Moon Tower next year. Uh, have, have a squatty potty in every comedian's room. Oh my god! With all the barbecue and Mexican food I've been eating every morning, it's like someone's like, "You want to get barbecue breakfast?" You're like, "Sure." Yeah. Do you want to get diarrhea breakfast? Yeah. You're like, why did you say that before? Yeah. Hey, let's take a break from this barbecue and get some Tex-Mex. <laughs> That'll probably make it come out easier. I'm going to kiss I'm gonna kiss my squatty potty the way Kevin Costner kissed the land in Robin Hood <laughs> when he got back to England. That's how I'm going to kiss my squatty potty tomorrow. It's just a stool. Why don't you just... Yeah, but it elevates your shit to a different level. No, it elevates your knees to a different level, so your shit comes out better. I, I misspoke. Why don't you again. just put your feet on like your like luggage or something? It's no, all it is. It's just a it's just a piece of plastic. Yeah, but I don't want shit vapor on my suitcase. You know what's funny? I I had one and I just didn't like it, and I ended up putting it outside my apartment in New York, <laughs> just like leaving it outside somewhere. Like, because you know when you leave it out, like a homeless guy's like perfect. Yeah. This was saying it was gone. It was gone in minutes, like a homeless guy. There's <laughs> somewhere taking super great elimination shits. Yeah, there's a drug addict on the Lower East Side with just a clean ass colon. <laughs> hey, can I have a dollar? I just lost 15 pounds. Dude, this feels like with your sunglasses on and the way you're dressed, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting an exclusive interview with like a cartel member. <laughs> That's just like telling me everything about the secrets of the trade. I'm like, we El cut all their heads off. I'm like, I, oh, Jesus. Can I call myself El Chuppo? <laughs> yeah. El Chubbo. One of our, I was talking about being uh, extremely stoned every night, but one of our biggest fans, Texas Possum Girl, last night, hi, she's in the front row, and she, uh, she was at the after party, and we always sign her t-shirts whenever mm -hmm. she comes to our show. She comes to all our shows. She's like one of the best fans out there. And... Uh, she just starts going right into counselor lingo, and I'm fucking out of my gourd. And she's like, Counselor Buck, how's Counselor Oscar? Where's Counselor Butch? And I'm just like, I don't know who the fuck this is. Because there's so many agents at this festival that yeah. you don't know who you're talking to. You were moments away from getting headbutt in the face from a scared Dan Soder. I just started backing up, and then I would have started lashing out. Just, just down the rabbit hole, taking NyQuil swigs. <laughs> I don't trust her. How does she know I'm supposed to name Buck? Oh, it's because we have a radio show where I told everybody that. That's probably the reason. This is Google Fiber. This is a nice place. Yeah. This definitely uh, feels like a place where they will be doing porn in a year. All these venues. They have so many venues here. So what's up with Austin and all their available venues? But they always have like a great story behind them. Like, oh, it was great. They made this multi-million dollar room because they were going to do like, you know, roller derby. But then that went under. So now we just have a room where people can play music for no reason. And they always try to connect it. That's the thing I love about Austin. And they always try to connect it to history somehow. They're like, Stevie Ray Vaughan took a dump in here in 1988. <laughs> you're like, no, oh, cool, all right. And like, so we, uh, you know, we put a Google Fiber. In. Yeah, it's like you signed a napkin or something. <laughs> yeah. You always just see shit. And you're like, what? Is, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Austin isn't really Texas, though, right? Okay, Jesus. <laughs> They sound bummed out about it. It sounds like they're all drinking NyQuil. So stupid. Everyone's sipping that scissor. Scissor. I'll tell you what. I walked around uh, that 6th Street last night, and all those bar If you are just willing to lower your standards yeah. a decent amount, <laughs> you couldn't... You, it would be impossible to not get laid every weekend. There's just so many people. 
And some of them are dumb. I saw those girls doing that. I, I tell this story. These girls were doing a, this horrible interpretive dance. We'll put the video out when we get back to New York. Yeah, follow it. By the way, if you're listening at home, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. But I saw the There's video. Christine, Christine back there does Christine's all our social there, media. Uh, give it going for Christine. Yeah. Looking like the wife of a monster truck driver yeah. dressed the way she is. You My can do it, baby. <laughs> Go crush them cars. Sometimes they let him drive car wrecks. What does my husband do? He drives the g g g g grave digger. <laughs> he smashes tinier cars than smashes this bus. <laughs> Great. His legs are jacked from climbing those tires. <laughs> He'll fucking butt kick you in the chest till you're dead. You I lost, lost your my abnormally large hat. You're adventuring at it. Don't worry. Oh, thanks, Jacob. Everybody keep it going for Jacob. Jacob's dressed like when your son wants a magician, but also a cowboy at his birthday party. Jacob's dressed like the cutout for height measurement at Dollywood. <laughs> Jacob also looks like he cleans the tracks at Dollywood. You got you sure it's off? You sure the electricity's Guys, off? Guys, I hate to do this, but we saw you drinking in line. We can't have you be doing that. <laughs> Dollywood's an alcohol-free zone. So, so last night... I'm walking around 6th Street, and these, these girls are doing an interpretive dance to Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, because that's what that song needs. Yeah. Three uh, young, pretty morons, I'm going to call them. Well, you mean white girls. Dancing. Yeah, definitely white girls. Dancing poorly, but they like definitely take dance classes, but there was no choreography to this. It was them banging into each other, often falling down. One had a mean moose knuckle, though, which yeah. was... I'll tell you, I don't know if that's a thing here, but we went somewhere this a afternoon for, like, uh, breakfast slash lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brunch, they call that? <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know if you Southerners heard of brunch. But... By the way, it's, I know you can't see this at home, but it's stupid how much Jay and I grab the bills of our cowboy hats. Oh, now. I love it. Madam, <laughs> Texas boss and girl. Anything. I want to wear this shit all the time. Oh, we'll figure it out. When we do our big girl fucking mechanical bull rodeo. Oh, we yeah, big, we got our big girl rodeo. Bon yeah, our bonfire big girl rodeo. So these girls are bouncing around. Oh, yeah, so we went for lunch, for brunch today. There was a girl who was like, I've never seen, like her pussy was swallowing her shorts. <laughs> like gnawing it up. Like, I don't like know. Her pussy, like her pussy needed her shorts for sustenance? Like... Like her pussy was slurping it up like a like a long piece of spaghetti. Yeah, because she kept doing a lot of this. Yeah. And then uh, and then what happened was her the shorts kept riding up. Not only did she have this mean camel toe, also looks like she was a bit of a cutter mm. and wore like short shorts. Now I don't know if she's a cutter because of that fucking gaping sniz. <laughs> I don't know what the reasons are. I've never been a cutter. I can't relate. It's to feel something, and she clearly feels nothing with that fucking giant vagina. Either way, big beefy puss seems to be if everything's bigger in Texas. So, <laughs> this, these girls last night, oh, loose it's... knuckles, kicking, flopping, dancing around. What's happening next to them, madam, is, uh, sorry, just keep doing it. What's happening next to them uh, is a homeless woman who looks like, do you ever see Mulholland Drive, the yeah, David yeah, Lynch movie? Remember that thing that lived behind the dumpster that came out? Yes. Very reminiscent of that. <laughs> and uh, someone saw it recently. They were uh, freaky looking, dirty, uh, sort of dreaded up, uh, creepy old white lady, smoking a cigarette, wearing green sweatpants, and she is dancing also. But let me just say, as someone that just watch the video mm -hmm, mm -hmm. doing a much better job of interpretive dancing oh she's just killed because she remembers when that was a fucking contemporary song but she also was... her whole entire life now is just interpretive dancing to everything Goddamn right car horns police sirens yeah you got a fucking uh, six street fights <laughs> yeah. um she's dancing and i'm filming uh the whole thing because it's ridiculous and i'm I'm enjoying watching it. It looks like this lady's trying to like be a conductor for these other awful dancers. And I'm filming that for about two minutes, and this black dude walks up to me. This guy was awesome. He goes, what's going on here? I go, oh, you know, I mean, there's like a, some horrible dance recital thing happening. I was like, but this crazy homeless lady right here, this is the star of the show. And he goes, yeah, look at that. And he stood there with me for about 30 seconds, and then he just goes, Psh. 
white bitches just be doing shit. <laughs> And left, and that was the end of the video. I'm like, there's no he reason was, to keep going. He was your bagger Vance of Sixth Street. <laughs> yeah. Why bitches just be doing shit? And then he's like, I'm your guardian angel. But he's right. Why bitches just be doing shit? Those girls were so, they looked like morons. Yeah, and they wouldn't that's stop. Hot white girl confidence. And they were, yeah, they were all hot. Yeah. And They're they, like, we should interpret a dance. And then one of them was like, put a hat out. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it at one point they were just the dance was just like them air guitar it was so bad yeah you know when you you know when your buddy gets too drunk uh, and you like if you bring a friend to a party and he gets too drunk which is by the way we'll talk about this that's how Merc face Andy got last night <laughs> oh yeah I'm surprised you weren't air guitaring at the after party <laughs> oh man he was tossed I he was, was just, he would just start he would touch J or I and then just start talking and go nowhere We'll get back to that. Yeah, but one of those girls was doing the drunk air guitar where it's just like, she's just doing that with her wrist. That yeah. was her interpretive dance. That was her yeah, I know. And then it's almost like, we're losing the crowd, girls. Knuckle up. And then they have to fucking give... Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Uh -oh. Look at it. <laughs> Knuckle up, ladies. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> this is the Melvins. Because this is the first time we've been on the road with the bonfire crew. Yeah, oh yeah. I've never seen, uh, I haven't seen Merc face socially too much. And last night at that party, he got toast. <laughs> you were feeling it at the goddamn comedy jam, though, weren't you, Merc face? Yeah, I didn't eat dinner, which was a big mistake. <laughs> I, I just right knew, the sauce. I just knew he was getting hammered because last night at the comedy jam, he was just really like, <laughs> this is fucking great, man. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's really fun. He's like, These are is, the days. This is it, man. This is everything we've been waiting for. Like, what? Summer's never going to end. <laughs> Seniors rule. <laughs> what? You guys want to paddle a gay kid? Dude, I just want to Hey, say you guys want to go rape Jacob? I mean, is it just me, or do you guys think we should fuck for trust? <laughs> Let's have a trust fuck. You guys want to kiss pee holes just to bond? Dude, if, if you would have gone Scotty from Boogie Nights, I wouldn't have put it up past you. <laughs> I, just like, want, I just want you guys to like it. Sometimes when you're wearing that ghillie suit, it's the way you look at me, and I just want to kiss you. <laughs> I just I got, you I got this new Western shirt. I just want, I mean, if you don't think it's cool, I'll take it off. I'll take it right back. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Uh, Merkface was killing it. He was uh, he was fawning over his his new chick back home. But my favorite thing he did was this, because you know we we uh, me and Soder have like kicked in to take care of our crew while we're out here a little bit uh, with drinks and stuff like that. I so, paid Jacob's child support. Yeah, I do good stuff. There's which, a lot of dark history, you know, which helps me out because me and Jacob's mom have not been getting along lately. <laughs> so that's my boy. <laughs> and. Uh, he goes, when we walked in, me and Christine walked into the party, and uh, Merc Face was like, guys. He said, like, by the way, what was great was it was one of those offers where you, he swore I was going to say no. Yeah. He goes, I, uh, he goes, no, man, come on, you bust so much, man. Let me, let me buy a round of drinks. And I went, yeah, sure. And he was like, shots? And I was like, uh, no, no shots. I go, I was going to do like a, like a vodka cranberry. He goes, how about shots and a vodka cranberry? I go, Cool, man. Me and Christine will be outside smoking a cigarette. And we go outside smoking. And about 40 minutes goes by. And I'm like, he must not know where we're at at all. We go back to the bar. And he's just there with other people drinking whiskey. And he's like, hey, where you guys been? I can respect that, Andy. That's how I used to be. Really? Oh, he never dude. got it. And then, and, then me, and then Christine kind of ordered next to him. We're like, hey, uh, bartender, we're going to get two vodka cranberries. He goes, you guys are drinking? And I was like, <laughs> Merc face. What? We are kindred souls. That's exactly I how I used to be. Nate I Barge remember. Nate Bargetti never used to like to go out to a bar with me because he said every time he went to the bathroom and came back, I had five new friends. <laughs> there wasn't five new friends, but he never ordered the shots or the drinks. Oh, uh, you're an asshole. He well, I didn't know where you went. Huh? I didn't know where you went. Is that why? <laughs> we were in the whole fucking party was 20 foot by 20 feet. You don't know where we went. <laughs> Fucking Texas possum girl found soda to make his night weird and uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't know what was happening. I thought I woke up from a fucking head injury. <laughs> she got soda itching in a corner. Uh, <sighs> you got more NyQuil? I'll sign your shirt if you got NyQuil. <laughs> oh, I want I'll even take some DayQuil if you got it. I'll get all jacked up. I'll climb this building right now. You want to watch me climb a building? 
Scooter's all whacked out on a moxicillin. We got uh, a bunch of great guests. We got some people stopping by. Why did they say this is sold out? Are they trying to break our confidence? <laughs> Everyone was like, it's sold out. And Jay and I are like sucking each other off verbally. We're like, did you hear that? Second show sold out. Oh, word must have spread about how kick-ass yesterday was. Someone threw some gas on the bonfire. <laughs> and we show up, it's like, oh, what? I see the people that aren't here missing out. This yeah. is going to be... Hey, let's all become blood brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'll get a rusty tuna can lid. Yeah. You guys wait here. <laughs> is it time for break, Jacob? Uh, oh. You got to do your do do the shooter. Is it, do the break is it? signal. There Pow. it is. Oh. <laughs> I want to make a bobblehead of, of fucking Jacob. I want to I want to commission a painting of Jacob in that cowboy outfit. <laughs> Just the hat covering his dick with it. Oh. Hey, can we set that up? Can we set a GoFundMe to fund a uh, commission to have an a oil painting of a naked cowboy Jacob? I bet we have a fan that can just do an awesome sketch of Jacob covering his dick with his hat. Oh, yeah. Wait, you can? Hey, it's Chris. Is that Chris? What's up, dude? That's the dude in the TF hat. Oh, uh, sure. yeah. He was on I didn't recognize yesterday. that as crazy mixed martial arts mohawk. Yeah, take off your hat and show us your kumite hair. Duh. There it is. Here's your arena the... league haircut. It's a master of the dark arts right there. We got a lot of great guests. Uh, we're going to be right back after this break. It's the bonfire. Bonfire. I like Merc face as the applause sign. Yeah. It's the cowboy waving. Get your and come on back, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a little boot scootin' boogie and Let's all my over. exes live in Texas. I am not used to doing live shows in comfy chairs. It's very weird. I think I'm being, like, watched by people watching TV. Yeah. Hey. It, ma it makes me think I could do one of those art exhibits where I sleep in front of people. <laughs> David Blaine it for, yeah. a fucking, for a week. Watch Dan Soder sleep for 13 hours. Oh, the wine bar is off the chain over there. Yo, Google Fiber is all about that wine bar. No one's getting laid at that motherfucker. You don't know that yet. It's all rosés and shit. Maybe a light fingering. Tops. I would say an over-the-pants hand job, definitely. <laughs> oh. I would never finish. Wait, did you say that already happened? Oh, oh you have an acronym for it? Over the pants hand job. Over the pants. Over the pants. Oh, OP, that's a lot, though, dude. You should just say over the pants hand job. Is that a thing down here? OTPJ sounds... It's from Always Sun. It's oh. from Always Sunny, oh. over the pants hand job. Yeah. That's almost like, but that's almost too military for such a sweet thing. <laughs> you know what? You know what I call it? I call it the Sarah Connor. Because you know in Terminator 2 where she had to cock the shotgun? Yeah. When you do that over the pants, it's like you got to fucking firmly get it. I know, you know what's funny? That's uh, one of our guests coming out here. We'll have, I'm sure, good over oh, the pants Oh, he's got so many tales of erotic... Ribaldry. 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 Uh, we'll have so many bonfire tales of ribaldry after this. these next two guests. What do you guys say? Should we bring on our guests? Uh, two of my favorite people in the entire world. They have a Hilarious. phenomenal podcast called Tuesdays with Stories, which you can download on iTunes. And they're two of the best working stand-up comedians working today. Our good friends, Joe List and Mark Norman, everybody. Mark Norman. Holy oh, shit. Oh, Joe almost had a lot. There's a speaker there. There's a speaker there. There's a speaker there. Some wires. There's wires. Okay. There's a microphone. Get the old time. Sure. You want the weird one? The That's one. for the whoever shows up. One of the hardest things in the world to do is convince people that a thing was a pratfall. <laughs> you're like, ah, do that. And they're like, no, fuck you. You're an idiot. And I'm like, I swear I told somebody I was going to do it. You, have a you, have a you look like you just came from coaching like morning softball. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Mark look like they were taking classes because they got too many DUIs. <laughs> you know when they make you relearn how to drive? Oh yeah. Mark always looks like he just got laid to me. He really. And I, he I know usually did. it's usually the case, but I, I think mean. Think I fucked Moose Knuckle. Oh, really? <laughs> I think it was her. No, wait, from the. No. What we're talking about? From which? Thing, from, from the, the video? Uh, no, from the restaurant this morning. Oh, I don't know. I had sex with a girl with a, quite a, a camel and uh, quite Big a cutter. Big puss. Yeah, real lips. <laughs> all right, we're getting too dirty out of the gate. No. no. Oh, all right. Don't all right, you dare. Right. We were talking about over the pants hand jobs. I was going to wonder if you've ever gotten that before in your well, life. He's probably gotten several here. We <laughs> used to have a thing in New Orleans. It was a strip club. I don't know if you had this where 
a stripper would dance on you, and if you got a boner, you'd have to pay her like sixty bucks. What? It was so like the, a ticket. It was like a yeah, it was like a, a test, like a challenge. Like, a spe- like you were speeding. You're like, oh, you boned up. Yeah. Pay the fine. Right, right. And so she'd be like, eh, sixty bucks. You know. <laughs> what if you came in your pants? Then they put your picture on the wall. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you win, it's like when you win a burger challenge or something. Right, right. Yeah, you eat all the eat steak. The- when you he had the off. hottest, he had the hottest dance in the history of this. Over the pants, you know, strip clubs. Even I don't know if I've ever gotten a boner at a strip club ever. I don't what? think. What? And people, uh, maybe I'm dead from the waist down. No, you know what it is? That environment is not really conducive for uh, getting a boner. I what disagree. are you? You're going to Magic Mike shit. Oh, there's girls that do it? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know that. You know what, I thought you know Chippendales what, was stripping. You know what helps me bone up is that it's usually some sort of velvet wall. But that, mm. yeah. But there's also the uh, people... I went to a bachelor party one time, and a lot of the guys were like, check it out. I prepared like by wearing like... The parachute pants were like those like swishy pants. hammer pants? Not hammer. No one's wearing hammer pants to a fucking bachelor party. That looks super Out of nowhere because I'm just wearing a button-down shirt and some hammer pants. <laughs> no, <laughs> but like, you know, not sweatpants, but like the like Adidas tracksuit pants. Yeah, type thing. yeah. Warm-up because, pants. Because, and the whole thing is like, because if you wear that, there you go. Smoking like a coach. Get Play those, ball! Get those warm-ups in. You're in, kid. Um... I can't, and they, they're like, oh yeah, sometimes you can come in your pants. I'm like, no way. Well, dude, it's the, same, it's the same thing we always talk about with basketball shorts. It helps you bone up without underwear. Sure, but coming from a girl grind, maybe again, maybe it's a vanilla thing. No, I, I, used, to, I used to bust nuts all the time from dry humping. Yeah, I agree. I'm on Paxil and, and I'm paranoid. I could fuck, you know, Cindy Lauper for a half hour and not come. Cindy Lauper? <laughs> That's your hot chick go to? Wait, who's. Who's, who's, who's the hot one? Cindy Crawford. 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 Yes. Even Cindy Crawford Shit. stated. Well. Yeah, what do you want? A new fucking luxury furniture line? <laughs> I'll tell What's... you, I could fuck the shit out of Cindy Brady. Is that the one? <laughs> I like oh, Lop- You guys don't Cheryl like Teagues now. Yeah, nothing makes me fucking cream like that Queen's accent. <laughs> Cindy Lauper. You're saying oh. you wouldn't come from fucking Cindy Lauper for a half yeah, hour? Cindy Lauper now? No. I'd come from fucking Cindy Lauper in five minutes, but it, it's not. The, <laughs> it wouldn't be my example of like even her. I couldn't come with. <laughs> She's so unusual. It's dated references. Well, I couldn't think of the right last name. <laughs> Crawford wasn't better. <laughs> no, Crawford's better. Cindy Crawford? <laughs> yeah. It's better. Look, it's better than Cindy Lauper, granted. But I mean, the reference is still. There's just a lot of. When's the last time you saw a hot chick, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I just couldn't think of one. I don't have a, who's, I don't know who my go-to girl is these he days. He watches a lot of VH1. Yeah. <laughs> Pop-up video. Um, Home shopping. Maybe uh, Jennifer Lawrence is that? That's one, I guess. Yeah, I only better, have eyes for my my fiance. You know. Aww. Aww. So you fantasize Aww. about Kathy Ireland and other hits of the nineties? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Tiffany chick. I'm a guy. guy. Oh, even Debbie Gibson couldn't bust a nut out of this thing. I don't know about you guys, but I could fuck lace from American Gladiators for 30 minutes. I'll tell you, I'd love to sit on the bangles face. (laughs) Even Zap couldn't coax one out of this nutsack. (laughs) Kelly Kapowski, I'd be dry as you are. Okay, there it goes. That was the one? That was was the the NyQuil. (laughs) Kelsey's pretty hot still, I think. She is. That's yeah. why. I, that's why I pulled back halfway through. I hear you. She's got fake tits now too. Ooh. How do you know that? Because I still Google her once a week. <laughs> and you know she has fake tits. Tip- Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Oh yeah. You, hey, we never brought this up on the show yesterday, but Jenny Von uh, Jenna Von Oy reached out via Twitter. Yeah, which is pretty funny. You guys remember Von Six from Blossom? Remember Blossom? Oh yeah. Yeah. We Whoa. Looked, yeah. We looked at a butt compilation of her. She's got an amazing ass, tiny little waist, big, huge ass. Wait, oh, wow. not Mayim Beluskiewicz. It's Bialik. Bialik, right. that's the one. <laughs> Show a little respect. Jay you, Jay, you said that like you run a Blossom fan club. Uh, yeah. Okay, I mean, she still works, and, uh, but whatever. You want to trivialize know her? her skills in the math world? Maybe seen a little thing called Big Bang Theory. Oh, that's right, that's right. Big yeah. lesbian. Is she? Oh, no, yeah. No, oh, yeah. No. She has kids, and she well, that doesn't mean anything, I guess, but I thought she's married, though. To a lady. Is she? I think to Cindy Lauper. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Jealous, Joe? I am. 
She's banging Muff with fucking Mayim Bialik. I could be dream, wrong. Somebody your Google, dreamway. Somebody Google that. I could be wrong. Well, is Google working here? I hope so. The place is called Google Fiber. <laughs> hey, Jacob, how do you feel being in enemy territory with your Bing knowledge? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh shit. Was that Mr. Google busting a bottle to cut you with? That was, this is the West. No one bings in this town. <laughs> Ask Jeeves just kicks the door in, <laughs> shoots up the place. I stand by it. You stand by it? I stand by Bing. You find porn way faster. No, it's, it is, it's the shit for porn. He's absolutely right. Jacob, you're going to get killed in a musical note shirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> you look like you run a petting zoo. <laughs> But like the kind you bring to a kid's birthday party? Yes, yes exactly. Like he's got a yak and a llama in yeah, the back of his like, car? He's got a truck. He's like Sean William Scott in old school. Yes. <laughs> he's got to go out and give grain to the lambs at night before you go. <laughs> you girls, great show today, gang. Great show. <laughs> Killer show, guys. Next weekend, more of the same. You're doing great. Big we got, things. We got the Horowitz birthday party. I don't need you guys biting anybody. That's going to be a lawsuit. <laughs> a lamb wrangler. Yeah, picking up the shit. It's a living. <laughs> it's a living. Um, yeah, no. Jenna Von Oit had an amazing body. It yeah, was one of the throwback ones, and she reached out to the show. I think. Did Whoa! She reach out, right? Or someone got a hold. She, she tweeted said, back she, towards. She said she's gonna call in. She thinks or something like that. Yeah. I hope she's cool. We're just gonna talk about her ass. Cool. That's we, why we bailed on talking to Corey Feldman at all because we're like we're just gonna fucking. Shit on him. Like, I can't... Talk about his ass? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guy's got a booming ass, but I mean, <laughs> we don't want to talk about his double album coming out. Is uh, he... He's dead, right? No. No, of course. Uh, Corey one of them's, Hames dead. One of them's yeah. dead, yeah. Hamster's dead. Uh -huh. Hamster. Yeah. The wrong Corey. <laughs> the wrong Corey died. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag it. <laughs> You're probably right. The wrong Corey probably did die. Yeah. Fucking uh, Corey Haim was at least just quietly living his heroin existence. Right. Corey that Feldman was bugging a couple people for some change. Corey Feldman, yeah. Corey Feldman, clean and sober, and still hitting fucking Michael Jackson knees on yeah. the fucking uh, at like a you know, triple A baseball game somewhere. That's I always insane. just think someone's his neighbor. Mm. Someone has. That's a to... vague comment. <laughs> but I mean, like. You Someone always so, think that? Ha, but like whenever I watch one of those videos when he's with his angels, like when we, distur when we decided he was too mentally disturbed to come on the show, we'd feel bad if he came on the show, there was a moment where I was like, someone lives next door to him. Like someone gets their mail and they're like, fuck, and he's out front. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, hey, hey, morning like, oh, hey, Corey. Yeah, you uh, doing like, your uh, morning uh, ritual where he just like, holds orange juice and moonwalks? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like someone unfor has the unfortunate... Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Hey, Fell Dog, you want to turn some music on? No. Can't get in his backyard. That's pretty good. Thanks. He's a sad sack. Cool. Yeah, he so, is. so it's not fun to interview someone. Like I would like to interview uh, Tom Hanks kid, Chet Hayes. He'd be a yeah. fucking great one. He'd be fantastic because uh, he takes himself super seriously, but he's not even delusional. I don't think he thinks he's going to be a huge star. He just thinks he's a badass right where he is. Mm. So you can fuck with that. Yeah. But Corey Feldman says, he's, he goes, please uh, give money to this GoFundMe so I can go play the arenas around the country that you deserve to see me in. Yeah, that's not healthy. And he goes, plus we got 22 tracks, so it's going to be a double album, which is, is almost like a threat, the way he says it. Right, right. <laughs> and you can't listen to just one song. It's a real piece. It's like, uh, it's my wall. That'd be great, yeah. You're like, hey, I heard the Feldman album. Wasn't really a fan. Did you listen to the whole thing? Ah, I took a third <laughs> of it before work. No, man, you gotta, you gotta follow the storyline. Take a night off. Lay there. Really listen to it. You know, it's kind of a cool thought is uh, all these celebrities that are super old eventually will have podcasts. You know? You think? I think everybody will eventually have one. Because they're, uh, they're completely unregulated? <laughs> yeah. It's like gold mining. Right, but, but right. people do, but you know, but Corey Feldman's victim of a situation where a lot of people do bring him out basically to make fun of him, but he doesn't get it. 
Mm. And also, he did like a performance recently. We watched that thing with Skrillex. Yeah. Uh huh. And they come out and they perform like a Corey Feldman single. What's the What's up with the youth? Yeah, from like the '80s. I'm not familiar with his uh, music. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'll let you borrow the single. It's, uh, <laughs> it's terrible, terrible music, but he believes in it so much. And then, like, some he people. Sells will, it like, he is sells it rap? It wow. Hip hop? It's, uh, you it's, wish. It's talk rock, talk rock rap. Talk rock rap. That's like a lot of radio stations. That. I think it's just straight up bubblegum pop. The guy just sings terrible songs and he dances around like Michael Jackson. Well, and come on like, out, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, but someone tells him he's awesome. Hmm. Yeah, he does. Every day. <laughs> of course. He's got a house made of mirrors. Maybe it's that neighbor you've been mentioning. <laughs> yeah, where's your neighbor at? His neighbor's going, Corey, kicking ass in there, bro. <laughs> hey, dude, I heard you working on a track yesterday. It was blaring through your windows. Awesome. <laughs> Came over to borrow some sugar and see you bang out some steps. Well, we've lost Ari. <laughs> Ari, where, where are you it? going? You look like a hip Jesus. <laughs> Come on stage real quick. I want to, we, I want to show the... Ari, right, who are you with? Your rollerblading instructor you're going to fuck? <laughs> Ari Shafir, ladies and gentlemen. On his shirt, he has I Heart Trump. And on the back, fuck yeah. Austin. <laughs> Ari does a heel turn. <laughs> you thought you liked him, but you don't. Oh. We got Ari's got to dye his hair a blonde now. See, so I think the fucking Hollywood Hogan. Yeah, left. Hollywood Shafir. You just went fucking total turn. All right, bye. Get out of here. <laughs> that was fucking weird. <laughs> that was it. He just came and left. I don't know, but you really look like a hiking guide. <laughs> there it is. Jacob, Ari. go get him. Go get him, Jacob. All right, do me a favor before you leave the go stage. Go get him, Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peel that shirt off, bro. Come on. Yeah. Up, why? why what, what's the weather out like? Suns oh, are well, out. Suns out. Oh. Well, then those guns are out too. I guess there's time yeah. for those guns to be out. Ari, why are your hips right under your tits? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun festival. You guys had a good time. I've had a fantastic yeah. time. Come sit down. Yeah. What are All you right. doing? You can Get sit over there over there between these two. You gotta oh. stick to the couch now, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Like, peel off. Yeah, you're going to be... <laughs> uh, I can't. You're going to get uh, them wet. That's going to be gross. Show a picture of Cindy Lauper. <laughs> how, oh, how fast would you come to Cindy Lauper? Uh, in her prime? I used no, to no, in no, no. two minutes. Both. Make it a two-part question. Prime and 86. Prime. prime. I, she wasn't sexual. She was like, you know, you're like sister. But in the Time After Time video, and I wanted to make her feel better. Oh, yeah, sure. You wanted, to give her, you wanted to give her a relief dick? Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to make love to her because that guy didn't, was not cool with her shaving a checkerboard in her head, remember? No one else watched Time After Time video? George Animal Steel? I'm the guy, the guy with the wallet chain and jorts is the one who remembers the Time After Time video. You fucking Brooklyn fucking beard. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> You're dressed like a music producer who's melting down. <laughs> you never heard that. I study everything. <laughs> yeah, I never cared about the music. I just care about my artists. <laughs> I'm no stars, dog. C Cindy Lauper now. No, there's no. Uh, she's ew. She's like over my age. Wow. You're Jeez. saying you couldn't physically fuck her? I don't think so. Oh, come really? On. I saw you who you had last night. <laughs> I mean, I could do an old marshmallow stuff, but I don't think I could. Really perform? What does that mean? Oh, just, the marshmallows—you got to push it in because it's soft. Patch of chest hair is so inviting. <laughs> oh boy! I, I think we might get kicked out of Google Google Fiber if you do what I think you're about to do. If this was Bing Fiber, this would be fine. <laughs> wow! wow. Oh, now the part oh, just <laughs> heat it up. <laughs> That's great. Joe List is literally doing like he just did a tilt away. <laughs> well, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm into it now. Now that look I've at seen Ari's, it. Look at Ari's bulge. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, it looks like you have three balls. It looks like, it a, water, like, it looks like a water <laughs> balloon that you're afraid to touch because it's going to break. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, if I grab that thing, it's going to go all over. I you can't say, tell what's what here. Yeah, yeah what's you, the meat and what's the potatoes? <laughs> it's a lot of... <laughs> I think you got the beans above the furniture. You're right. You're right. When you said you brought a bathing suit, is that what you meant? <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. I actually forgot my other bathing suit. 
Hold on, I got a time issue. Oh, my word. <laughs> you know what? That was a wild Woo! scene. I'm becoming less vanilla by the day because I enjoyed that. I can't take, can't take my eyes off this thing. Don't Joe, get me either. I'm happy I'm wearing sunglasses. You can't see that my eyes are just fucking zoned in <laughs> on your That's fucking a good bird, idea. dude. <laughs> on your bird. Yeah. Uh, no, take off very, one shoot. Stretch it out, dude, if you're going to wear it. Yeah, man yeah. spread. We have very yeah. similar upper thighs. Yeah, your really? upper thighs are hairier Open than... Open it up so the front row thinks you're satin gum. <laughs> Show us the old Austin bat wing. <laughs> oh, man. I was walking around my shirt off yesterday, and Joe List was like, uh, would it be uncool if I do that too? Because well, I wasn't sure if you could have more than half the group shirtless. It feels weird if there's two shirtless guys. I, I'll tell you this, though. Ari was shirtless in front of our hotel, and it attracted a uh, crazy shirtless homeless guy. Because I think he oh, saw he's... Ari, and he was like, oh, it's cool if I go up there. It was too. a beacon. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. He was the lighthouse. That's yeah. right. He threw it out there. You know what would be great right now? If a black guy just walked out of the room and went, white dude just be doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> white, white dudes be doing shit. You're co totally comfortable like that. You're so comfortable in your own skin. I'm so envious of that. The, the Google has made this atmosphere in here perfect. 70 degrees. And they really yeah, have. Comfortable. It is optimal. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's at a loss. Just <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm Joe, Joe taking Joe's literally off the couch I, almost I can't completely. can't stop staring at your... I don't know what you're staring at. It looks like you have a bunch of stress dolls in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like that thing when you grab it, it slips through your hand. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it goes like that way and then that way. If I have underwear shoot. on, you can see veins and stuff. You can definitively point out what's wrong. Right, this is just one it. goop. He's right, Ari, he's right. Go in the back and work that thing up and then come back out here. <laughs> when you can show something respectable on that fucking French cut thing. Thank you. I want to know, yes, what, thank you. I wanna know what's up and what's down. This and is just... Oh, yeah. It depends you know on what, what hemisphere you're in. It's a beanbag. It looks like a beanbag. Where's yeah. the leader and where's his buddies? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a good amount of meat. <laughs> Don't you have uh, well-known huge nuts? Huge balls, yeah. Oh, uh, so that's mostly ball. That's mostly ball. Interesting. That's what I was thinking. Christine uh, complimented my nutsack today. It was weird. Across the room. Is that how you guys wake up? I was aquaforing my asshole, and she... Too real? Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what no, now? No, what, what were you doing? By the way, the felt on this feels like the corner of a pool table. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> what is your question, Dan? You aquaphor your asshole? What does that mean? Uh, yeah, what does that mean? You know what aquaphor is? No. no. It's like... Aftershave? No, it's like Vaseline-ish type thing. Why do you butter up your anal? <laughs> We've been eating Mexican food to break up barbecue meals. Ah. Yeah, but you... So you grease your asshole like an eyebrow on a boxer before they're around? You know what's funny? Here's what I found out. Almost, yeah. Like a black chick getting ready to fight. Yeah. I take out my earrings and grease up my asshole. Is, is Christine your corner man? Does she have, like, Q-tips on her wrist? Well, you're getting cut out that kid. I'm going to throw the town. This. Like Don't you fucking man. stop this. Now, listen. We're going to have heavy brisket at lunch. Are you ready for this? You're like a crooked pitcher. You got Vaseline yeah. under here. She does a tip. I got a wipe. Hold on. Well, I'll tell you what I learned about Aquaphor recently. Aquaphor I would use normally. Oh, oh now I've lost oh, interest. Shit. Man, I'm feeling much more Oh, we just dried up. We just dried up Ari's pussy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, guys, I guess I'm just going to go. Um, so Aquaphor. Yeah. I found this out really. It, it, listen, if your asshole burns from taking vicious shits, you aquaphor your asshole. Does this sound crazy? No. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like an ad in the middle of the show. You get it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We'll be right back he, after he these messages it. from Aquaphor. You do this? I don't do it. I, would, I understand. It sounds like a good idea. I, I don't been... always do it, but here's what, I thought, what, here's what happened to me. I, uh, last weekend, I got, oh, I ate like fucking hot peppers on something, and it was destroying me for several hours in the shitter. Wait, did you yell out to Christine, get the Aquaphor? No. She wasn't there for this one. This was, I was solo. I had no one to cry out no to. no cut man. No, you know what's funny? When I needed uh, her the most, there was only one set of footprints in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's when you didn't realize that Christine was the toilet. She was holding you. I was shitting that's on her the whole time. <laughs> well, my child, that's when you were shitting on my chest. <laughs> giving me what I refer to as a soggy Jacob. Yeah. I um, refer to your relationship as biblical. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, it was... Super painful, so I aquaphored my asshole pretty heavily. 
I went in about a knuckle and a half deep. Jesus. <laughs> you butt fucked yourself with aqua for it's, n- <laughs> it's not butt fucking till it hits a knuckle. Till it hits the fucking this one, the fist one. Um, everyone that's, knows that soda. You sound like an idiot right now. That's a trunk. <laughs> that's a trunk knuckle, though. This is a knuckle right here. I know. I said the fist one. Yeah, that's the trunk knuckle. That's All a right. Butt I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, no, I didn't go that deep. Oh. Okay. I went to the fucking. How do you do? All apologies. <laughs> and uh, put some aqua four in there, and then I had to shit like an hour or two later. Took another vicious one. By the way, you guys couldn't see it, but he looked over his sunglasses oh. at me. So I took what's known it, as to make it a little more human. I took what's known as a vicious shit. <laughs> <laughs> And then I went to, uh, went to wipe, and I'm like, this is going to be a fucking procedure. <laughs> Nothing on the paper. Come on. Just Nothing. a handful of Aquaphor. No, I think that means what? you're dehydrated. No, I think it means I fucking greased, greased the it up. fucking There's no stick, no stick pan. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you shave yeah, the Aquaphor, it's like, it's it like looks... asshole Pam. Yeah. Yeah. I know her. It probably slides out of there like a slip and slide. There's no, there's no friction. It just, it just goes right dro- out. It just drops right. like with snow melts. It's like the infomercial with the egg. It just slides right off. Yes. <laughs> we should it's be a- doing this all the time then. It made a foot. We should all start. Do you guys, after the show, want to all go aqua for each other's assholes? <laughs> yes. Soder, I think you're an adult. You can aqua for your own asshole. If you I'm want me to, ch- if you want me to check when you're done, then make sure you did it properly. I will. I'm gonna walk to your room with my pants around my ankles. Ari's getting more and more dressed the more so the show goes do, on. Do gay guys? I have a different shirt do, on now that says, I'd love to cram my big cock into your cunt hole. Wow. For Easter. Is this Pinterest? Where do you get these? <laughs> Etsy. Etsy, Etsy, yeah. What were you going to say, Mark? I was going to say, do, is this lube? Like, do gay guys do the... No, I would board? not use it as a lube. It's... It, it's Vaseline consistency. Oh, I, see. I never understood when people would say that when you were younger. It's like, like jerking off with Vaseline. That's before you guys knew anything about jerking That's off. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like it is a horrible to... idea. Yeah. I did. You, I it's did the, try fucking the... a jar of Vaseline once. I've done that. Really? <laughs> you fucked. That's why I looked right at you when I said there's three other people here, but I assume <laughs> you'd have been the other Vaseline jar fucker. I would consider it the diesel fuel of jerking off. <laughs> no, no, it should never be used. It's a no. terrible thing. It can get you a long way. It also picks up everything, so it's like when you're done, right. like there's dirt and <laughs> hair. Yeah, it. it's like healthy peanut butter. You know? <laughs> it's hard to spread. The, you're collecting the floating dust that's in the sun ray. You really are. It's like you get it is the a sun ray. It becomes. It's just like grainy. It's a grainy, sticky jerk. You have two shirts on now. What are we doing to Ari? I don't know. Just, guys, just be casual, you guys. <laughs> We're being super casual. I feel like Joe's checked out of this grotesque masturbation. No, no, I'm listening. I'm trying to learn here. Are you a vanilla jerker? No lube, no nothing? I, no, I never jerked off with lube. I have a... Um, uh, some, some, of the, some of the true fans have heard about this before, but I have a uh, purple thumbprint on the top of my dick because I've masturbated with no... Lube and I do fingertips from when I was a youngster. It's true. And so I have what? like a actual like thumbprint. Wait, like you don't change even... like the color of the skin. Yeah, it's purple. And one time I went to the STD clinic. Well, not one time, several hundred times. I went to the STD <laughs> clinic, and it was like a Russian woman because it was the free one, you know. And she was like, "What is this? What is this? Contusion from masturbation?" And I had to be like, "Yes, it's a contusion from masturbation." <laughs> and uh, she yelled at me because I had a, uh, I had a uh, well, I don't want to get too crazy here, but I had a herpes outbreak, and she was poking like a stick in there trying to test it or whatever, and I was like crying, you know, and she's like, you baby, you baby, she called no, me a baby. Dude, Eastern, Eastern European doctors, no bedside manner. Yeah, she called me a baby and yelled at me for having a contusion from masturbation. Babies what? don't have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you don't know how babies get down there. Yeah. Depends what town you're in. I had a Romanian doctor was the first doctor that ever put a finger in my asshole, and I'd never and had she was an eye doctor, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey zip, Comedy. Zing. Oh, over here. Watch out. <laughs> whoop, here it comes. Whoop, there he is. Here Hello. The got your wallet. She shook her finger in my wallet. ass and I go, whoa. And she goes, if it hurt, go to proctologist. <laughs> yeah. Or just aqua for your asshole before you go, dude. You're not going to get juiced up for a fight. Dude, you got to wet the flume before you go down it. Why do you have a buzzer in your pocket? You never know, man. What? Yes, I do know. Is it to shave your pubes around your fucking bathing suit? Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. turn it on. Those pubes are going everywhere now. <laughs> well, if you're not covered in Vaseline, you want to track it. <laughs> oh, you're, it's my fault, I guess. You're right. 
Um, I recommend everybody fucking uh, lube up their assholes. Did you hear that? That's a big J life saying. <laughs> Before you go out, Aquaphor that BH. But it sounds like we don't need toilet paper anymore with this Aquaphor business. Yeah. I always too. say use a little Aquaphor. I'm a baby wipes guy, too. Mm. I go in there deep. You must have a very soft and uh, delicate asshole. Christine? Yes. Do you guys ever do you guys ever go straight shit right in the shower? No toilet paper at all. I love no. that move. Yeah, but you that doesn't get all the poo out. It's yes, still it does. pooey. No. What do you I, have a removable thing you put in your ass? Just water and hands. Your hands? Yeah. <laughs> you wipe shit out of your ass with your hands? Well, you get the bar of soap in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I recently I recently almost lost a bar of soap in my asshole from trying to walk because it was a hotel. It was like a little one of those little hotel bars. <laughs> oh wow. And it was like three quarters, and I had to. Like, yeah. it back out and it's and, hit Joe, the and Joe is feeling like a size queen in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> but it was scary because I did have a moment of like, I'm going to have to call 911. They're going to have to come up here and pull uh, soap out of my wait, asshole. There was that <laughs> moment? Well, because well, I'm a paranoid guy anyways. But it was you definitely... You soap in your asshole. It was a piece, there was a piece in there. It was a good amount. Like, I felt like a suck it. Because it's like a suction <laughs> cup. Yeah. It brings it, it in. Like, yeah. Pulled in a little bit and I had to quickly... <laughs> and push it back out. Like a we're, fucking like, rectangle of soap up your ass? Yeah, did it No, it was like a dove. It was like a like football shape. Oh, They're yeah. Football. Is your asshole like one of those car vacs? That like soap is asking for it. No, it's all suction. Everything's suction. You ever like, have you ever had this happen? We talked about this before, Mark and I. When I've had sex with a, a woman where she has a like bad cough, and it, she coughs, and it kind of ejects me. I think it's one tube. <laughs> Like she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I kind of like shot backwards. And I was like, you gotta stop coughing so I can. No, that happens. Yeah. Yes. Thank when, you. A girl, when a girl coughs, uh, pussy tightens, a butthole goes like, oh. That's what I'm saying. I cough <laughs> with, a, with a soap thing. Yeah. I almost ate the soap. It's like a pussy backfire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What does what does a sneeze do? It's like remember Uncle Buck when his car would go off. <laughs> no, yeah. She did with her pussy when if, it if, she, if she sneezes, she shits. <laughs> what? Which That's just sneezes? my girlfriend, not women in general, I don't think. Wait, when she uh, sneezes, she shit? No, I'm joking. Oh. Oh, no. Boy, you guys really took that one serious. I almost yeah, the crowd was like, this sounds earphone. like a problem. <laughs> um, no, okay. yeah, when a girl calls... You never had a girl call for your... Thank you, Jay. I appreciate yeah. this. Yeah, I back that up completely. I don't, yeah. yeah, but I don't remember it. Oh, dude, next time you're with a girl and she, and she cough. coughs... I'm yeah. going to chop her in her throat. We, <laughs> and then you just we, chop her throat and then spread her butthole and stare at her winker. We keep Robitussin right next to the condoms. I'm down with that. I'm all about that tussing now. Oh, that hell robo yeah. tripping like Little Wayne. Jacob, did you give me the the, the six shooter? What's the sign? Oh, I feel like you're losing uh, steam with it. All Jacob, right. you know what? Here's oh, is it over? Is the show over? No. Oh, oh dude. we have to take breaks. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Uncle Jacob. Peter. Shut the fuck up already. <laughs> Every time with you. Why would you ever smoke pot? A real cowboy wouldn't take that from a guy wearing fucking bikini underwear. Oh. You get this sissy Mary off your stage, cowpoke. <laughs> <laughs> you I, gotta, hope he, I hope he brands your butt cheek. I just imagine Jacob's going to get angry by this and do push-ups in a cowboy hat. Going, I could have moved him out. <laughs> I could have got him out of there. He's lucky he left when he did. <laughs> I would fucking beat the shit out of him at stupid speedo. Uh, Ari, you didn't go to the party last night. No, I got Where did you go? Oh. Yeah. You got blown on the docks. What? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, shit. I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't anybody where everybody knows. Oh, great. Then why are you weirding out about us so much? I don't know. I didn't think. Did of... you really get your dick sucked on the docks? Jackie Cation. <laughs> <laughs> so say, everyone got so weird in the show. I'm like, was it Christine? Because everyone's getting pretty weird. Oh, she shit, called the Armenian sorry. hurricane. She the Armenian like hurricane. Oh uh, yeah, she's all gums and knuckles. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like you're describing an old timey boxer. I'm just saying, you don't like fingers in your ass. Do not get blown by Christine. Oh. Uh, well, you're all lubed up, all ready to go with the aqua oh, form. I might as well put an invitation on my butt crack. Yeah, absolutely. You put aside a welcome sign. I don't blame her. You probably put your hand on your back and then just slid all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the party last night, Mark. Yeah, yeah, good times. I was hanging out with, with you for a little bit. Went to the strip club after. What? Till Yellow five. Rose? Yellow Rose? Till five? Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Yeah. Is yeah. it around here? No, it's by the airport. Oh, shit. You really yeah. went to an airport strip club? Yeah, yeah. That's, That's probably dangerous down here. It was 
It was C D. And you yeah. stayed till five? Yeah. At six they all turned into vampires, so you right. got out right when you could. Yeah, you almost yeah. got dust till dawned. <laughs> part two with John Bon Jovi. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a part two, is there? There's like a part five. Can I come over and we watch all of them on Monday when we get back? Fuck yeah. Thanks, what what, what happened to the covers? strip club? Anything go down? Oh yeah, strip club. Sorry. Yeah, good, good, to watch uh, I went with some industry, so they were dropping cash. It was amazing. Uh, most of the strippers were pretty rough. C-section scar. We checked that off. Um, Tampon string? No, but a maxi pad. Okay. Um, okay. With the wings wrapped around the thong? Oh, yeah, with wings. Oh. One girl was 19. I, I talked about this earlier, but I did the move. Where she, she was the hottest one, and I was dan- she was dancing on me, and I did the watch look, like, and she was like, oh, shit. So she stepped it up. Really? Yeah, because she felt insecure. No shit. You fucking bullied her? A little. <laughs> Is that how you're so successful with the ladies? Like you're boring me, get that puss out? Nah, I'm not one of these neggers. Oh, boy. Um, but, you know. Yeah, you used... yeah it's just as long as one of the guys in cowboy hats didn't say it. That, right. was the, that was the perfect vowel replacement. Yeah. You know these guys who neg. Uh, I'm not into that. What do you do? You just look at your fake watch? Uh, yeah, you know. Just a lot of talking, a lot of begging. <laughs> you hooked up last night. Oh, yeah. How many nights are you good for here? So I'm two far? down. I got one more. Going for the hat trick. <laughs> two what do you guys nights? think? Can Mark Norman get a hat trick? <laughs> oh, All dudes. A, a lot of awesome. dude clapping. Yeah. I think you're going to get some dick on your final night, Norman. Ah, fuck yeah, it. dude. Mix it up. I'll go the last night gay. Yeah. Keep Austin weird, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Can I borrow the hat? Yes. All right. You can borrow my hat, too. I'll be, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. my shirt. I don't even know why we got into it, but backstage right before this show, while the song was playing, me and Soda were taking turns doing impressions of getting butt-fucked against the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even remember the context how we got into it. We both That's just started doing show impressions. That's our show yeah. prep. He's getting fake butt-fucked against the wall. I'm you not going to write questions where we could just fucking fake get butt-fucked up against the wall. You think we're doing vocal exercises? <laughs> Dear Bonfire, how do you guys get ready before a show? I've always wanted to know. Pants of mine butt fucking. Yeah, I added in the fake cry after the last pump. Hell yeah. What was the girl last night? Uh, not one of strippers. No, 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 no. But she went to the strip club too? Yeah, she cool tagged, chick. tagged along. Did she come back for the lap dance with you? That would have been hot. No, but she paid for it. She paid That's for it? She was, she was, she was so naughty. she was industry. What's that? Industry? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well... Did William Morris pay for your nut job? Oh, I hope nut job? Is that what you call it? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I got lost in the middle of that. <laughs> you call it a nut your job. nut job? <laughs> Just go there and fucking that's, play with your nuts. That sounds like, like, that sounds like a gay that's guy trying to talk. That's what I said like, when, uh, when Furious was waiting for, fucking, uh, for Trey to come home and Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Just juggling your balls Just like that. Just make that small whistle. <laughs> <laughs> nut job. Nut job. So she was there paying for your lap dances. Well, she's got cash, you know. Nice. Had Did no she cash. pay you to fuck? No, no. Did she throw money on you after you fucked? No, I like that, though. Clean herself up, <laughs> slut. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did she put a finger up your unlubricated butt? No. I, this... I put one in hers. A finger? Yeah. Nice. You mean your 11th finger? Yeah. My, God, my yeah. Finger. yeah. The 11th finger, the one you bit the nail off totally. <laughs> That's almost a childlike way to describe a penis. The eleventh finger? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot worse want, than third it, leg. Jeez. <laughs> At least that sounds big. <laughs> Eleven finger sounds tiny. Oh, it depends which finger. That's a pretty decent finger. It's like no? saying my my second nose. <laughs> <laughs> my second nose. I see Kurt Metzger. Just Kurt, get is up he, here. Is he living? Hey, oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Metzger. Kurt We're Metzger. The dry butt stuff. Speaking of noses. I just came in when you were talking about your butt fucking. I like you came in just like from fucking deli shopping, it looks like. You no, know? do you know what this is? I need a purse, dude. This is what the problem is. Fanny I have all this pack, shit. bro. Yeah. I got to find a, a good pack. What is it? Pack. You said you want to know what it is. It's just like my chargers and shit and my stupid vape You're shit. You're slowly becoming a tell. Yeah, you actually carry around a plastic bag. Is that what he's, he has? A plastic bag? Yeah, he's always carrying yeah, some he carries stuff. stuff. Usually half full of candy. And a, it's always a newspaper. Yeah. yeah. He had a oh. script the other day. Just a screenplay. Or, it's, or sometimes he comes back with like things you would never expect to hear from David Tell, where he's like, what's that big bag for? He goes, I came right from kettlebells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> that would never happen. Yeah. 
But he would just go for the the research for the bits. No, he do, he goes regularly. He does, does he? kettlebells. Kettlebell. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Holy shit. Yeah, he's, he's in better jacked. shape than anyone on stage. What if the he stage? just gets totally jacked? Like Chappelle? That'd be fucking fantastic. Do you, do so you this actually you know, is just a purse. It's just your it's stuff. It's just a fucking purse. Get a backpack. Yeah, get Hold a backpack. Hold on, Jay. Are your only choices to. fucking homeless drifter or a uh, fucking Dude, for, purse? for like 20 years, I've just had plastic bags. <laughs> that is not practical at all. You know what Tell used to give out porn? Remember he used to give out, he just had like DVDs of porn in his pockets? Yeah. yeah. I got hey, you want some porn? So, when, uh, my aunt, what's her name threw me out and uh, I was at the cellar and she goes hey listen I just put all your shit outside you might want to come get it I go please just put it inside the door of the building she goes no don't worry I put a little sign that says not garbage <laughs> on your <laughs> that's what it so is I go SD I gotta go get all my shit right now the booker I had to tell, I'd run out before my spot it was in two bags it could have fit one bag because I consolidated it in one it, it hurt that it was one bag one garbage bag all of shit, your things all my stuff and, and most uh, of it was cords for a PlayStation. And when I got back to the cellar, because most of my stuff was this porn that Atel had given me, the bag burst open and just interracial hole stretchers and shit was all over, wow. all over the street. I was just holding a plastic. Like, like Did you Kevin McAllister. <laughs> like people see me with the bag, didn't think much of me, just with the intact bag. But yeah, you had a filthy porn pinata. came out. Yeah, it just burst open. Did you just walk away from all of it? <laughs> I should have done that. No, I hurriedly picked up all my pornography off like, the like, ground. You're like, ma'am, little help, little help, ma'am, <laughs> sir, little help. Oh no, my stories, <laughs> my <laughs> stories are everywhere. <laughs> sir, can you block traffic while I grab this? Oh, I, call, I do call it my stories. <laughs> <laughs> my stories. <laughs> These are my precious things. That reminds me. I think I, I don't know if I told this on uh, our show before, but when my uh, my mom found the porn magazines in my room was in a. A telescope box I had it in that was just full, full. It was like exploding at the seams with porn, and my little brother, who was like pretty much a you know like a toddler at that point, like yeah. lent her to it, and uh, like a truffle pig. Yes, while saying the word, <laughs> while saying the words big tits, because me and my She's friends like, go get it. He's got the scent. Where is it? No, no, He's no. He's a truffle pig for porn. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get it out of his mouth really quick before he ruins the porn. No, he, um, no, what happens, me and my friends would come home after school sometimes and like, I'd like give them porn. My, my buddy worked at a newsstand, so he would get them for free. Yeah. He'd give them to me and like, I'd give them to friends and shit. You jerk, then give to friends. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give him a new one. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> so I, uh, they come over and jokingly, you know, joking around with my brother being like, you know, two or three years old, we'd always be like, hey, look at that, Bobby. That's big tits, right? And he didn't know what the hell he was looking at. We put it away. One day I was, not home, and he was watching TV with my parents, and there was, like a, I guess, like a nude scene in a movie or something. Yeah. And he goes, big tits, big tits. And my mom's like, yeah. what? He goes, how do you know about, uh, what does that mean? And he just goes, big, and like an autistic kid just starts going, big tits, big, and just starts walking up the stairs. <laughs> and so my mom follows her upstairs, and then he just goes and stares at my closet like a haunted kid. <laughs> and he's like, big tits, big tits. And my mom, all she had to do, she just touched the box. Yeah. That's what a fucking powder keg this was. And then it just rained filth on my mom. <laughs> He's like Lassie. Yeah. Wait, but in fairness. That's perfect. What is it, boy? It might have not, dude, it might not been the porn. Your mom does have big tits. Oh, my God. So he could have just been talking to your We're mom. I'm not sure. Yeah, Norman really. And she used to wear a T-shirt. Uh, all the time when I was younger. I didn't know. It was O-U-I, we, the word we. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it had a copyright thing next to the next to that word which i never understood and then when i was about 17 i realized that's uh a porn magazine yeah. we magazine oh and then i asked her how'd your mom get that t-shirt dude i you want to hear the story <laughs> this is like i know somewhere my mom's sucking off a dude on a european porn somewhere <laughs> oh man i know oh, it's true Jesus. because this is her excuse she goes yeah i met a guy one time and he like worked for this magazine and, and he asked me to make movies she's like i thought about maybe doing it but he said it would only be overseas, but then all I thought about was your mom, mom, and pop, pop being overseas and them seeing it by accident. So I just said no. And almost that moment, I was like, she did it. <laughs> <laughs>
She did it. <laughs> How do you get the T-shirt if you didn't do it? Uh, uh, and you don't just give those T-shirts away. Uh, you don't just yeah, give a that's a one of a kind T-shirt. That's crazy. It could be a parting gift. Yeah, maybe they give you a hoodie if you actually do it. No. Uh, or, like letter, or like a Letterman jacket. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a big leather. And every time you do it, you get a little dick pin. Right. Look, on. your mom took the job. That's the she bottom. She probably line. took the job. If I had get, I never go like and an search. Assassin, an international assassin. <laughs> I think she went over there. Yeah, getting probably. Fucked. We're getting six shooters from Jacob, so we got to take a break, and we'll be right back with All Mark Norman, right. Joe List, Kurt Metzger, and Ari Shafir. It's the bonfire. Blame it all on my roots. Welcome back, everybody. It's the bonfire live at Moon Tower, Austin Tejas. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. We also, are live. Also known as Sheriff Oscar Okerson. Yes. And I'm Buck Soder from Buck Soder's Steak Emporium. <laughs> you, Only the finest Omaha. You, we got T-Bones and Omaha's. That guy's going the fucking Aquaphor's asshole. I know he is. I know he is. By what round of you? applause, who's more able, who's, who's uh, probably going to Aquaphor their asshole after listening to today's episode? That's a good Three. five people. Four. One guy just raised his this hand. Girl like this girl is a public bashful. school. This girl's a shame, but she's going to... Was he doing uh, that because of the question or just by by chance? Are you going to aqua for your asshole, sir? You got a big asshole, too, don't you? You look like you got circus head. Like That's they, a lot of aqua for. Yeah. Kurt Metzger, everybody. Kurt Give Metzger. Kurt. You, was I supposed to have... Were you supposed to tell me to come out? We're going to bring out a special guest right now. He wasn't on the panel. Ari Shafir had to leave. But this next guest runs easily the best show at Moon Tower. I went to it last night, and he looks the best best torso in a tight T-shirt. Yeah, no shit. From the goddamn Comedy Jam. Keep it going for Josh Adam Myers. Yeah. Hey, Look man. at that stage presence. Did it. Grab a mic. Josh. Sit down. I went Get to a here. Seder with Josh. And then, we uh, did have a Seder. You got yeah. Tuesdays with Stories. You guys want to come up? Yeah. yeah. Mark Norman and Joe List, everybody. Hey. Yeah. Aqua four. <laughs> Where did you get that? What's that for? <laughs> Mark, oh, yeah, get oh, in here. God, yeah. Where the fuck did you find what is that for? Is Mark did that. <laughs> Aqua four, you're here? Oh, no. Hang on, Kurt. Give him that mic and the other mic's over there. Just to catch Wait, you guys up on what you guys were discussing earlier, I don't use Aquaphor. I use Preparation H suppositories. I masturbate dry, and I always wanted to fuck Grace Slick from Jefferson Starship. Did you? Starship? Yep. Not hey, fucking hold on. airplane. I want her when we built the city. The Wait. fucking nothing, nothing's we... going to stop us now, Grace Slick? <laughs> Jay, my other question is, did you also fight in the Korean War? <laughs> <laughs> Who does all of those things that's under the age of 70? I draw... I dry jerk. You always. dry jerk. Every time. Yeah. I don't yeah. do. A kid's it's in dry rub. You don't do that? A kid's in dry rub. <laughs> wow. No, I jerk. I got, you I got, got to have time something. to find oh. lube all the time. I'm all dry. And the money. The roses is, dude, the I roses had lotion delivered to me at the hotel to jerk off today. <laughs> is that true? It felt regal. You're judging me aquaphoring my asshole for... Because oh, I you... jerk off with lube? I'm Wait, like, what stop. are you talking Hold about? On. Did you call the front desk yeah. and say, send up lo just lotion? I go, there's no lotion in the room. She goes, I can send you some. Uh, and I was wow. Like, you think they don't know exactly this dude <laughs> calls down for lotion. A guy that loves Unless to have a nice jack... soft jerk before he takes a shower. <laughs> oh. Mr. Soder, would you like this for elbows or for your penis? Yeah, she goes, body lotion? I go, body lotion. <laughs> yeah. I have an ashy dick. <laughs> I, I don't know what that's like. Yeah. yeah you know, that's a dra drawback of a dry rub. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm Wait, all... so none of you jerk off with lube? Nope. No. Good job. no. And I'm the monster? Yeah, well, you know what, man? Whenever I stop needing shaving cream to shave, I stop needing lube to jerk off. <laughs> I mean, both of those things are insane to me. I don't, I, I don't shave with shaving cream either. What? Yeah. The more, the more we got jack faces and dicks. <laughs> the more preparation, the more preparation you put into masturbating, the creepier it becomes. You know what I mean? You just have to see it and grab it. So you it and all go. don't wear right. pink frilly robes while you jerk off <laughs> with soft ointments and incense, Dude, just like so you can see a, a woman's sleeve while you're looking down. <laughs> so to put mother, on. no, mother, no. <laughs> I like. <laughs> you're married to my dad. <laughs> I like to jerk off sitting in a wheelchair. <laughs> a little wig. Yeah. yeah. I like so, to sit in a wheelchair after I'm done. <laughs> Soder, uh, Soder also beats in the shower with an up against the wall stance. No, what? Here's, what I, here's what I couldn't admit. You do a. a here's what I couldn't wait admit. Wait a minute. We had Mike Vecchione on the show. Who's you my do roommate. an American Beauty. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but not I bad. jerk off standing, but I stand. I couldn't say this because Becky Owens on the show and he lives with me. But I jerk off into the shower. Oh my into the God. drain? Like yeah. I jerk off into the shower. Oh, yeah, like by I'm the way. Outside. I'm not getting hit by the water. Oh, oh, oh. into the whole yeah. thing. Oh, what? And I like, jerk off into the shower. That's a lot of jizz. <laughs> But well, it's kind of you know, cool because it's, it's like you know, like you know yeah. those things that you play with, like that, where you make it like, right. Like, Whoa. Oh, you're right. trying to hang them, yeah. That's solo. Why you don't, don't you lay down in your bed? Also, it makes. Lay down. Oh, why that's don't you lay down in your bed? <laughs> yeah, what's that? Yeah, it's a more poetic jerk off. You're yeah, like, you thinking about how life's like a bag in the wind as you blast. Yeah. It, you know? You know I usually jerk off just to that video of a bad you know, you know what's great about that was you were trying to lie on the show because Vecchione was there and you didn't want him to think anything was gross. Yeah. But how ridiculous your lie was, we just yeah. all, everyone in the room just let it go. Yeah. Someone brought it up on Twitter and I was like, Yeah, oh. he goes, he goes, what do you, so he goes, yeah, I jerk off in the shower and while he's taking a shower and Vecchione goes, you know, he's like, where do you, we were all asking, like, where do you come? Like, cause, you know, Mike's got to take a shower in there too. And he goes, no, you know, like into a tissue. <laughs> Like, in the fucking shower? You leave a worse mess than just Jake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just what? I clogged yeah. the drain with paper mache. <laughs> I make an incredible It's called the soda paper mache. Yeah, what do you do? I get some gauze and, uh... By the way, how, yeah, that would just be the dumbest thing, just be completely wet and just grab a handful of tissue to come in. You but don't you pee in the tissue? shower? What's that? Don't you pee in the shower? Fuck times? yeah. Exclusively. Of yeah, every Dude, time almost. I, have been, I haven't brought up down here, but when I stay in a handicap bathroom, there's a drain in the floor. I love it. I just piss on the floor and brush my that's teeth. Some, yeah. Yeah. Kurt, Kurt, that's some zoo animal amazing. shit. No, I love those no, things. Zoo animals don't brush their teeth. There's a drain right there. One time I uh, masturbated on a plane. Have you guys done that? We asked no. you that yesterday. I've never done that. Well, well, I, I did. That, listen, that smoke detector is really sensitive. You know what I do. Ar I don't fuck around. Ari did it in first class in his seat. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, you, have to, you have those I blankets. I believe that. He probably get his fucking shirt off, too. <laughs> he, did a but, he did a fetal jerk. I did it one Dude, time, Ar and I came, yeah. out, I came out of the bathroom in the plane. I jerked off, and I was trying to time, like, could this be the amount of time that someone shits for? Because you start to get worried that you're there too long. And then oh. I came out, and the flight attendant goes, hey, what were you doing in there? <gasps> really? And I was like, what? And then I looked, and she's like, didn't you see the sign? And it said, out of order on the sign. And then, said, so she worry. opened the door to check, because she assumed I was shitting, because I was in there for three minutes. So she's like, well, obviously the shit is still in there, because the toilet doesn't work. So she looked in, and there's no shit. And I was just like, no. Yeah. And I think she knows I jerked off. Hey, and it was at the beginning of the flight, no, too. So. Relax, at the lady, beginning, it's number three. At the beginning yeah. of the flight? Why? It was like, yeah, we, the seatbelt sign wasn't even off yet. It wasn't even, even taken off yet. It yeah. wasn't even wild boredom. <laughs> It was just no. fucking like, you know what? the plane it crashes, a, dude, and take off. Yeah, it was a cute pilot. You die with full balls. I get it. They still haven't gone through the safety instructions, and you're like, well, let me do it now, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right when they got to the overhead fucking uh, the air thing. I don't know. But another time I another time I jerked off on the plane, it was after last comic You've standing. You've multiple times? Of course. Wow. How many times have you jerked off on a plane? Probably these two times, and then once you have two stories, you're like, i got to stop doing this because... But I came off I this time. I thought you did it a hundred oh times God. until you got two <laughs> stories. Yeah, you know, you're like a... There were, there were a couple flights to Dayton that he's not talking about. He's getting more and more comfortable. He's like texting Liam <laughs> Neeson, taunting. But I, I taunting came out and Vecchione was waiting for me. I mean, he was waiting for the bathroom. And I bumped into Vecchione. I was like, oh, hey, buddy. On the plane? He was on the same plane. It was you, last comic standing, so it was like all comics on the plane. You, wait, you know? how the fuck yeah. did you pass you were on the plane too. fire hydrant of a man on a plane? Mike Vecchio looks like pliers. Like, how did you get by him? He was coming on and I was coming out. Like, we did like the, the shuffle pass type of move. And I had like half a boner because you can't wait for it to die down because you've already been there for eight minutes. Did Didn't you it smell like cum in the bathroom? What? How much are you what? coming? What? What does your what cum smell, smell like? like? Is that, I gotta ask you a real question. Is that just a setup to get some funny conversation going? Or do you believe, okay, I was gonna say. I hey, didn't know you cum smell. Believe, hey, uh, I all this beer on his lip. Diet. What are you talking about? Well, no, because I didn't know. I, uh, I the room stinks after you come. That's what you just said. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're just peeing? I, I come in. <laughs> I come a fucking toxic smell, so people predators will leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you ink. Yeah. Like ah, they're like oh god, it smells like cayenne pepper. That's your skunk spray. <laughs> no, did I tell the story? Wait, I hold on. Dan comes bear mace. Is yeah. that true? <laughs> I can't remember if I told you this story on the show yesterday or when we were hanging out. But uh, my mom, I used to jerk off. In what? The, hold on. 
I used to jerk off into my boxers and then just like throw them in my yeah, yeah. Um, hamper. Hamper. Yeah. Not thinking anything. It's like I'd be like, there you go. I just come in it. And then one time my mom was doing the laundry in front of me. Okay. And she just goes, you know that cum smells? And then just kept watching the news. Oh, wow. She was like a Snapple like, fact. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, she Snapple fact me. And then I was like, ah, oh, now I have to How fight. hard did you make it smell when she said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you know that? Your mom Dude, that's, you know what? How old were you? Hold on. I, like, is, I didn't 14. even take a... <laughs> what? Jay. She, didn't want it. she basically was trying to tell me to stop jerking off in, in my room. hamper. Yeah. That's not the way to do it. I know. No, she, no, she did it in like a mob way. Yeah. Well, listen, I didn't even think about it, but that must be the hardest time in a mother's life that yeah. where she got to deal yeah, with your fucking yeah. cummy shit. It She's wasn't like, weird when you she started know how to bring up it up those, to you. Those cryogenically frozen square <laughs> underwear, you know? It's like tinfoil. But that's the whole thing. I didn't think about it. I was just like... You're on your way like, bye, Mom, going to school. She's like, you have a batch like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you saying that with a cowboy hat made it better. Hey, hon. <laughs> hey, hon. I got those cobwebs out of your underwear. Yeah. I would do a similar thing, though, because my tidy whities were in the drawer, and I would clean up with tidy whities for some reason, and then throw them under the bed. Because <laughs> when you're a kid, yeah, so eventually they would clean my room and find, like, Dude. 50 pairs of underwear with loads in them. Yeah, I don't buy, t I don't wear tidy whities, but I buy them just to put loads in. Yeah, but they have, I just found out recently, though, they make paper towels, and it does a similar thing. They're cheaper. Yeah. Such a similar thing. Yeah. Dude, Louis, Louis J. Gomez got weirded out by me because I told him sometimes what I'll do is I'll just like jerk off like before I'm getting in the shower. Yeah. And then just like put just get rub it on my fucking thighs or whatever and get in the fucking shower. And he was so Ooh. blown away He's by that. Yeah, that's weird. Weird. I'm not going company? out to a fucking store after that. I mean, what you I'm, do like war paint or <laughs> nah, just wherever it is, man. You rub and it in. It's fun right before you get in the shower. It's like when you used to put glue on your hands when you were younger, like trying to pull your leg yeah. off. Yeah, the old Elmer's your, leg, your, your stiff leg hairs crack off in your thigh. Yeah. It'd be oh. great if you said you put it on your hands for grip, like it was fucking sap for baseball yeah. players. I fucking rub jizz and I break him in half like the end of Demolition Man, like it's fucking <laughs> liquid nitrogen. <laughs> oh my. Do you ever think about like your carbon footprint of uh, jizz towels? Ooh. I didn't until just now, but I'm worried, you know worry about plastic bags and shit too. Jizz towels. This just like just using toilet paper for just gyms? how many times did you just get way too much towel? First of all, yeah. just a luxurious amount at a hotel, of jizz towel, especially like Pits a out. fucking American pig. What it's, if they found out some that's countries what? you got to find a leaf to jerk off in? What if we found out that's the actual cause of climate change? Is everybody jerking off too much? <laughs> yeah, global friction. I heard about that. Well, you, see, uh, you know how green my method is? Is just coming in your underwear and then just washing it. Where'd you blast when you were doing these plane jerks? Wait, you're, wait, you're still into the jerking toilet. off into your underwear? Occasionally. So you'll jerk off and be like, ah, and just grab the closest yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, then I grab it like it's a critter <laughs> in your house. I just get it over. Critter. When he's not beating off in the shower like fucking uh, Dirk Diggler trying to work one up in the 80s. <laughs> it's going like this. Just fucking hold on. Dave, he's got to call himself a star. Well, yeah. Dave, you're a big, Dave, you're you're a big star. star. MTV2's guy, guy, guy Court. Guy Court. Guy Court. You know what's underrated? Jizzing in the sink. What? Yeah. I'd say that's over. Yeah, I'm a monster. <laughs> Especially like a really nice sink, like one of those hip... You know, oh, like a sink shell with the, the kitchen where uh, you touch Kohler the faucet sink. and it yes. comes on sink. Yes. Like yeah. a Pfeiffer. A sink yeah. by a Pfeiffer. And it's Ooh. weird because the, the sink bowl is so white, it shows how bloody Not your white your jizz is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> how bloody. I didn't Dude, I I'll tell you what, this, and I, I, uh, I think I talked about this in the show possibly, but I took, I was just on a lot of medicine like a few months ago. Yeah. I mean, like really, I was taking like day quill shit. Like, medicine? No, like day quill shit like that. I, I, I know, I'm on that scissor. I got a sinus though. infection, so I was taking like antibiotics and shit. And it's never happened in my whole life, but my jizz was coming out yellowish. It was so disturbing. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. yeah. It was freaking me. I had a lot of weird. My first gonna... year, my first year of weird dick problems. I had a like a a skin thing like on my dickhead that was like <laughs> they can cut that off for, for you. No, you, not a skin tag. It was like... Are you raising It was like shiny... I said, you know what sucks about it? I foreskin? Thought it was foreskin. <laughs> Pesky foreskin. No, it looked like I... Uh, it looked like if jizz just dried on your dickhead. That's Weird. a yeast infection. But I... Yes, you it went, is sort of like a yeast infection. Did you go to a doctor and say that to them? Yeah. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a Russian doctor. <laughs> I, I, yeah, some guy looked at my dick. 
Isn't it weird? I, and I was pulling my dick out for a guy, and I still was hoping it was bigger. I still I felt like apologizing for my dick to someone. Wait, wait what did you want him? Did you want him to bite his lower lip? <laughs> Look at that piece. <laughs> and then he has his friends beat me up for being gay. Yeah. He goes, you donkey dick freak. <laughs> Do you remember that, like, John Holmes, supposedly in his childhood, everyone would make fun of him mercilessly for having a big dick? You ever hear that? He used to get picked on? That happened to me. Dick? Yeah, I also... What, 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 what town did he live Hurt. in where they hate the guy? <laughs> the same town people who jerk off into tissue in the shower. Oh, yeah. By the way, we all know that it was a cover. That's a lie. I jerk right in the drain. You got to learn how to lie better, bro. You're right. I trapped Dude, under pressure. That lie I was can't horrific. even, by the way, think of you as Powdered Toast Man as I usually do. Yeah. Because you're so much Woody. It's amazing. Yeah, I, said, the, I said that yesterday. Are you I, get I a Woody like, costume? I look like Woody from Toy Story. God damn. But you know what's crazy? It was just his, he didn't shop to look like Woody. His favorite two things in the store is what he's wearing. And it happened to be Woody. Yeah, you just How am I going to not buy a shirt with birds on the sleeve? Soder's got, yeah. Pix Soder's got Pixar soft taste. That's why he likes to masturbate with an ice cream. I know, Jay. Ah. I, 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 you could do it. A cowboy hat if you want. What? You know? Yeah, you look well, normal. Yeah. You guys, like, Jay, yesterday, on yesterday's episode, we kept saying, someone on the internet said Jay looked like Hank Williams Jr. I was going to just, <laughs> dude, I was about to say you should be playing a slide guitar and announcing football. Oh, my friends are getting rowdy yeah. tonight because it's Holy the Bengals shit. and the Bucks on Monday night. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Josh, are you getting, you gotta be getting, I don't even know if you have a girlfriend or anything, but I don't know if you're getting crazy tail when you do these festivals, man. You're, on, you're doing the coolest show at the festival. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, look at your pussy yeah. getting boots. <laughs> and, beca and because it's your show, even when other people are singing and kicking ass, you're still in the background singing it too. Uh, Look at how the boots are worn down from being knee deep in scush all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that what pussy juice does to shoes? Yeah, is it, is it yeah you got to waterproof it and pussy proof it when you buy those boots. <laughs> is it sad that I hardly ever get laid anymore? No, no, I don't, man. I've I've had my years. Does your cum it's, smell? Because that's a problem we have. No, I have, I have very. I have Some very, of us use it as a self defense mechanism, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> I haven't drank dairy in a while, so I have very thin cum. It's very. Oh. It's not white at all. It's watery. Uh, it's very watery. Yeah. So I might it's have not like white at all. Well, how can we make your cum great again? <laughs> <laughs> how can I help you get that cum white again? <laughs> You've got to build a wall in your balls, my friend. How do we thicken it up? Maybe throw some starch in it. Why aren't you getting laid? Uh, I don't know, man. It's just I, I had years of it prior to this, and it's just kind of. Tiring. Is that stupid? I like uh, jerking yeah, off. I like hey, jerking off. Yeah, you if talk I jerk about, off in the morning, then I'm fine the rest of the day. You talk about uh, pussy the way well, I talk about booze. Does that freak, was, out? Does that no, freak out you, Mark? Because Mark's, oh, Mark's, Mark's on the prowl for put. Mark this guy's not yeah. yeah. Mark, you know, Mark, Mark, well, Mark has that. Mark Norman's hot fuck action to the max. So so you know, yeah. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> he's, he's a festival hot pick dick, just so you know who's asking you. Yeah. So think about your no, true. Mark Boo Food. Uh, That's why he got this out here. I, his dick. Listen, listen, I have heard stories about Mark, and I was just complimenting. You did him. of the wooden puppet come to life. Him. No, I was complimenting That's him backstage. Me. I was like, <laughs> I had no idea you were a hidden degenerate. Like I had no idea Why? you were a badass motherfucker. I had no idea. I don't know about badass, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, um, you're so badass. Yeah, your story. I, I've retold. To be, your story from, like, Philly you hooked up with a chick, and oh, like, yeah. she said she was going to leave right afterwards, and at the afterwards she didn't want to leave, and yeah. you were like, I kind of want to be alone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that. And you're like, you should go. <laughs> I think that's fucking, yeah, but I would never. I did the power move where I left the hotel and left, left her there, just in the room. With no. your stuff? Yeah. Dude, me and. Me, I don't have anything. Me and Christine had a girl come over and stay to, like, one the next day. It was horrible. They won't leave. It was. She kept asking if she can go back to sleep for a little more, and we're just both like, "That's I balls. Guess. That's balls. That's crazy." It was horrible. Yeah. Hey, can you fuck off? I want to sleep for another forty-five. Did I tell you what? I, so we went, to, went on the road that next weekend, and I was telling that story outside near a girl. Yeah. Who ended up coming home with us, which okay. was hilarious. That girl came home and heard us tell the whole story about the girl not leaving, the girl staying too late and overstaying her welcome, and then that girl after we hooked up with her, that girl goes. I know you guys say you don't want people to stay over, but I'm just, I'm not going home. <laughs> We're just like, whoa. 
Yeah, so she, so she went to sleep. She goes, and we were trying to give her all like the, yeah, but you know, we snore and blah, blah, blah. And, and she goes, I don't care. I bring earplugs. And the only, Jesus. the only beauty, the <laughs> only beauty of this happening was me and, me and Christine were laying down watching a movie and this girl went to sleep with those earplugs on. I think we ate pizza or something. And I just go, I go, hey, Christine, let me test these earplugs. And I laid the first place fart in the Nationals this year. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, should have been a commercial for those earplugs. Not a stir. Wow. Did she pop up? Not even sort did of. She, did wow. she feel did the wiggle her nose like a rabbit? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you remember, Jay, do you remember Spider? Yes. I, Your old roommate. The old bartender. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't good, good fellows I don't and say crazy name. roommate name. But this girl came. We they had a party. This was a, wa- a long time ago. We had, they had a party, and there was this girl, and she was a virgin or something. But she ended up sleeping with Spider in his bed. You lost your virginity. I like that you're whispering Spider. into a microphone. Wait, listen, <laughs> but she didn't want to. You know, she didn't want to like fuck. So he goes, "All right, this is what I, this story I was told later." She's like, she didn't want to fuck. They were like making out. And he goes, "Okay." He just turned over, and he just farted until she left. <laughs> Yeah, and this dude, his farts were like... How many farts His farts were all like, you're concerned for him medically. Fart, like, like, what he must up. have done to her must have been... Br- I mean, a, that should be a crime. Dude, well, he just farted until she left. He make with over. the puss, whore, right? I'm just kidding. I don't know. I wonder at what point, at what fart, she was like... Ah, yeah, so I was going to say, how many farts did it take? She's right. like, she goes, I'll take the hint. I'm just I, wonder, I, do, I, wonder, I, I would say not more than one. I, like wonder the, like, like, uh, I wonder if they're like... I wonder if they're like dog farts, where they're kind of like... <laughs> they're way worse than dog <laughs> farts. It's like the old Tootsie Roll commercial. One, a two, <laughs> <laughs> I, I walked a woman from a movie theater one time. Me and my buddy Mike Robinson, we were at the movie Rushmore. So it was like 98. Yeah. And uh, we were, this woman was sitting in front of us, and we had our legs propped up on the seats like this. And whatever we ate that day, we just kept farting over and over again. And eventually she got up in the middle of the movie, like halfway through the movie, and she goes, you guys need to get your asshole checked out. <laughs> and she said, singular asshole. And she got up and left the movie. She assumed you shared an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Like we just had a tube asshole. But uh, it was a proud moment. I thought a human centipede was sitting behind me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should get your asshole checked. <laughs> But at the time, I thought it was hilarious. I was like, what a piece of shit. Fuck her. But then if that happened to me now, I would want to I'd tell the guy to get his asshole checked out. So. It's fucking hilarious. Josh, yes, none of these festivals you're pulling put me have to be a something. Like, I, I, no, I know I you're not saying I you're hunting. It. I don't hunt for anything. I, I have none of that in me at all. But You I don't mean, hunt what you can't kill. No. Yeah. <laughs> But you, but you, uh, even without hunting, it's got to be coming your way, dude. You're I rock star had, on the had show. a girlfriend for the last like year, and, and then we broke up, and. Uh, it's, 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 it sucks because, like, like, I do the show, we spend the whole day doing that, and then as soon as it's done, I have to go back. I might hang out for, like, a half hour, get some food, and then go back to bed. Like, I'm turned, like, with this strip club DJ voice, like, I have to be in bed by a certain hour and get, like, at least a few hours of sleep, uh, to perform the Dude, day. you have a it's better... It's really sad, yeah, it's not, you it's don't really have a better sad. than a strip well, club voice. I agree, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, I want to fuck you with Come that on. voice. <laughs> yeah. You I'll got tell drug you what, I can voice. see you announcing, <laughs> uh, like narrating extreme videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The X Games, I could do that. Yeah, you have former. This X kid games. fell down a well. <laughs> <laughs> that was. A, no. We're gonna go live to our snowmobile flip. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the X Games. Well, he sounds like a fucking the awesomest school counselor. Well, yeah. I used to right, do drugs. Too, yeah, I used does. to coke all the time. I killed a guy with a knife in 87. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a handsome guy. Thank you very much. You look great in a t-shirt, too. Yes. Man. Thank you very you much. And, you it's, and Norman. This feels like an intervention for Josh. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, dude, I'll fuck all you guys. Like, if you guys really yeah. want to. Let's right. get down to what the show is. I say Cowboy Hats go first. I want... I want Norman and Josh to fucking uh, Eiffel Tower chick tonight. I think we can make that happen. You look like a man that's dressed like he wants that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be I'm gonna be, in cowboy pajamas in the corner. On it. <laughs> the one piece. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Clay, I got about 100 shillings Feeding off Dan this. Soder position like Swearington. <laughs> we better be standing up there, fella. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Jay looks yeah. like he invented the cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chickens. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. You two slap dicks. <laughs> Hold on. Do the six shooter, Jacob. We will not go to break until you do six shooter. There it is. We got to take another break? Yeah, wait. You're calling a break on the lead singer of Blues Traveler? Are you kill- <laughs> kidding me? 
Oh, oh he right. wishes. No, he's saying you look like Chuck. He wishes he looked like me. Yeah. Do we have to take one more break? Let's just keep going to the Let's end. Keep going. Should yeah. we keep going to the end? Yeah. What? Then you let us know when to finish, Jacob. What time is it? What day is it? I'm so off. I don't know what's what going on. You're, you're in a whirlwind of pussy drinking and comedy. I got the gin sweats here. I'm really is feeling it. it. Is it smacking you now? Can I get a wall? beer? How about a beer? Give Norman a beer. I need a beer or a, just a nice Bump. big piece of gash. <laughs> Something to keep you moving. That's that's how you go two for two. Oh my god! You just throw it all out. There, you know the you know? cure for all my house? fat gash. <laughs> that's that how, looks like your nickname. How, yeah, fat gash. Fat gash Joker. <laughs> also, that's also that's, 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 that's his hit single off his new album, uh, the uh, A Panel Bar. bar. Yeah. It also sounds like that's what you call your homemade hash. <laughs> you sounds like some of Big J's fat hash. Thank you, it's the name of his backing band, fat yeah. Yeah. the Fat you know, Gash. You look like the founder of a hard lemonade right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to put your fingers in some eighteen-year-olds? Keep a stock of J's hard lemonade. <laughs> Cheese hard lemonade. Oh, that's the best one. That's the best one of the whole fucking yeah, weekend. Cheese hard lemonade. I want to see your Eiffel Tower, and I'll be in the court. <laughs> you want a creepy older guy to watch you Eiffel Tower chick with your friends? I will. Cheese say- hard gash. You look like the Jeez owner of Porky's. Cheese hard gash. That's your drink. Cheese uh, hot gash. <laughs> If you asserted yourself, Josh, you'd get laid every one of these festivals, dude. Oh, yeah. There's, it's, it's about the art, man. <laughs> it's about the art of playing 80s cover songs with comedians. It's, it's a lot of hard work to get Mateo Lane to croon Mariah Carey songs. He ain't oh, that no. much work. No, it's not at all. <laughs> he lives for that. <laughs> he offered to suck my dick if I put him on this festival, so... And I'd yeah. you shoot a load of that. If I was going to have sex with a man, it would be Mateo. Like, I, Those arms. Don't you ever do that? Do you ever size up? Like, like, I feel like if I'm going to have sex with another man, I want it to be like prior to it. I want it to be like a UFC weigh-in. I want to make sure we're in the same weight class. We have the same reach. Yeah. In case it goes bad. Case, I don't want to get mad. I'm not going to fuck you or let you fuck me. That would be... That's not... You're a heavyweight. I'm like a no, feather. You, I'm you a feather. I'm like 140. Up, one, yeah, you land the right shot, dude. Also, he's got the clean. Got you the, still got to punch your chance, man. <laughs> he's got the cleanest asshole here, that's for sure. Oh, oh if you're gonna fu- if you're gonna after pick a butt to episode, fuck, I would say this is the one to play. Yeah, Jay's my number one draft pick. It after comes pre lubed like an after dinner wet wipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kurt, that was weird the way you like you're thinking about it. I was yeah. thinking about you. No, your ex girlfriend when we were at that restaurant. She's like, Jay wipes his ass until it bleeds. Dude, do you? I got to tell what that is. That's fucking Greg's. I am an excessive ass wiper. I'm very worried about being clean. Wait, do you, is that your OCD? Like washing your hands too It is. Much? Well, you know what it is? I, I think, I, I, look. He's I'm, the Howie I'm a Mandel big, I'm a big of assholes. Guy. People don't know that about. <laughs> I'm a big guy. You could be skinny and, and kind of grungy. Or if you're a big guy, you're going to have to be like squeaky clean. So it means a lot to me to not smell bad and all that shit. Be yeah. very clean. So uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. And uh, But I've always been like that. And what happened was, my ex-girlfriend was dumb as a brick. And I'm not even saying to be mean, like, lo- low intelligence. She was... Yeah. Kurt one time had a scream at her because she picked him up, and while they were on the highway, she starts reaching on the ground while she's driving. 65 wow. miles an hour between she's a his nice, legs. Yeah, she's a nice girl, but she's driving. She goes, I want to get my Schneid Twain tape. <laughs> she, she just That's ducked a true down. story. I got to get my Schneid Twain tape. And the car all over the highway while she looked for this Shania Twain fucking tape. Yeah. She, I t- Which album was it? <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Yeah, I remember was, that was that song while my heart was pounding. <laughs> she, was a, she was dumb as a brick. She was dumb as... And what, so what happened was... And also, like, my friends growing up were all... I had a lot of good dudes. You met a bunch of my friends. But they were like... It was very one-dimensional. It was like guys that I like played sports and like talked about sports with and tried to get chicks. Like it was kind of rooted off that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I had interest outside of that, which like, everyone probably does. When I met Kurt, when I first started doing comedy, we became good friends right away, and uh, I started hanging out with him a lot more. And his friends, who were all like college people, you know what I mean? It was like yeah. very just a different world, different conversations. And I would bring my girlfriend out. And I feel bad about this, but it was true. She just made... I was embarrassed, because, like... She just say dumb shit? Really dumb... First, she goes... Yeah, we were in a different restaurant. Yeah. She goes, oh, my God, that's the guy who says he's going to stab my uncle. My whole family. 
<laughs> this guy. You stabbed my whole family. <laughs> he can't see me. I'm like, what? It's just some duty. Some guy at a table eating. She just said that he was gonna stab her. <laughs> She's like, my uncle did. My uncle shot his cousin, so he's gonna stab my whole family. It's like some Who weird. Who got her to stay in South Jersey, by the way? It, <laughs> it was South Jersey. No, she was an idiot. I'm saying. It's it was, like really. So I would always be like, redneck-y. I kind of got a little bit. I'm like, shut up, Cheryl. Just shut up. Like you know, it's like. You're embarrassing yourself. You're what back. a great name to tell Shut Cheryl. Up to yeah. Shut up, Cheryl. Shut up, Cheryl. So she was... Im- well, I'm sorry that guy wants to kill my family. It was pretty embarrassing. So what's funny was... but I just said I feel bad about this, but it's funny how she got me back. So she just started to feel that I was giving off that vibe when we would all hang out with Kurt and his friends that I was like embarrassed of her. So, like, her and tell- she was like, a good-looking girl and everything. I had nothing to do with that. It, I was, my embarrassment was just she was like doofy, like really dumb. And... uh we were sitting at, we went to an Olive Garden. I do remember that's what it was. Yeah, and limited and we were all sit, We were all sitting, well, everyone was broke. We were all sitting around eating something, and people are having conversations about whatever, and I'm excluding her from conversations completely because it's going over her head anyway. And out of nowhere, she, like, demands the attention by just, she just blurts out in the middle of everyone eating and talking. You just hear all that, like, it's like a party, like a hubbub of, like, eight people talking. And she just goes, Jay wipes his ass till it bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> and just like forks dropped, it was all those noises. Like what? She goes, he does, he does. And all I was going to do was go like, ha, ha, ha. yeah. That's how I first knew that you had a really clean asshole when she said that. Yeah, and that was that was yeah. She fucking blurted that out in front of a bunch. I just of wanted to say Wait, that. She goes back to her meal. I just wanted to say because because this is my favorite. Because you were so broken up over this girl. Mm-hmm. And what was the way that she dumped you? Was she like a trick? We told she, this on the show before. It wasn't that she dumped me. It was like she dumped me and then said she wanted to get back with me because she wanted a Christmas present. It was like right at Christmas. <laughs> she wanted her presents. So I gave her her presents. And, when she, and she, was, I got, she was, I already got your presents too. And she told me she was getting me a, a PlayStation 2, I think it was. Yeah, it was PlayStation 2. Right. I think, and she came over with like nothing on her. No sort of present. Where's my PlayStation? She brought, in the she brought a I gave, Sega Dreamcast. I, I, I gave. Yeah, but hold she, on, wasn't it the build up? You like you thought she was cheating or fucking some guy? And it's she, she was. was getting your PlayStation. Well, initially she said she was the guy that I heard on her voicemail was her, the guy who was going to pick up my PlayStation two for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to believe it so bad, and I was like, I went to all my friends who I said I think I caught her cheating on me. I went back to my friends with like a. Guys, how, dumb, felt am bad about being how dumb am I? I'm accusing her of cheating. That guy's picking out my PlayStation. Table. He's a pretty good dude. <laughs> yeah, pretty I good remember, dude. And I, and I didn't even question you because you seemed real sure of it. Even though I was like, you usually get that from a store, like not from like just a private dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, in defense of what the, the good story, the good story of it was, it was like the year it came out, so they were sold out everywhere. Oh, it was he like she knew a guy. A, whatever, yeah, one of yeah. those deals. My friend works at a PlayStation 2 Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got it cheap. She just had to suck his dick a bunch of times. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch apparently, but uh, yeah, and then she, but then you know, so it, it found out she was hooking up with this guy. Of course, we broke up. She wanted to get back together. I bought it like an idiot, and I give her her presents, which were nice presents. And she was like crying about them. And everything. she was like so. And then she goes, "Are you ready for your presents?" And she told me to keep closing my eyes. And every time I opened my eyes, it was like a worse thing. That was not a PlayStation 2. And every time I closed my eyes, like, I would was literally like, clap my hands and do the, oh boy, here it comes, here it comes yeah, PlayStation baby. 2. And then I opened up, I swear to you, the presents were uh, incense and an incense holder, unnecessary. Uh, uh, Never ooh, thought I needed not that ever. Uh, it was a dollar, it said on the uh, store, Dollar Tree's imitation Tommy Hilfiger. Wow. <laughs> That's a good scent. <laughs> That's one of the better imitation Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, the third time I closed my eyes, she goes, you ready for your real present? I closed my eyes expecting that she was going to leave the house and come back in with something. <laughs> and I opened my eyes, and she just had a fucking knot of cash, and she sliced me off 320. She goes, get yourself a PlayStation game. <laughs> Damn. A PlayStation 1 game. And did you ask her what happened to PlayStation 2? No, I just gave her the cash back. I told her to get out. And that was and then it. she, oh, she made you smell her fingers, and she goes, Anna just fingered your mom. Well. <laughs> get out of here, you bitch. <laughs> she she fucking Sanchez bitch. me with it. She goes, now you're going to need that Dollar Tree cologne. Yeah. <laughs> get that smell of shit get off Get your mom's you stank off it. Uh, <laughs> that was foul. But yeah, that was fucking, she was dumb as shit, that girl. But a million laughs. You talked about moms getting angry about sheets. Uh, one time I butt fucked her and finished in her butt. And then I'm such a fucking creepy porn weirdo that I was like, 
I'm like, yeah, try to squeeze it out now. The thing, like and a child science project. To her credit, she obliged, and it came out. Uh, uh -oh. Jizz, little nug of, of shit in it. Uh, oh, you got man. shit dick. I was laughed. she doing? Was she doing dick. the forced talk? Where she's I like, is it oh. coming out? Is it? God, it looked like an egg over medium that got a little burnt. Oh, oh man, <laughs> God. I just had a yeah. breakfast burrito. What like a, imagery? Uh, I can, look, I can turn the audience dying. went, that was good. The <laughs> chorizo and egg whites. I, uh, I am a fucking poet. I'm so good with words. The way I affect people. I think you're very descriptive. Thanks, bro. In a way, you douched her asshole. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, cleaned her out. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, she sees that, goes running out. I live with my parents still at this time. She runs. <laughs> out of the room downstairs and starts crying. So I immediately feel bad because I laughed that I went to go console her and I can hear my mom kind of come out of her room and okay. milling around upstairs, but didn't say like she didn't say anything and she went back to bed. So I told uh, my girlfriend, I calmed down, I go, look, I'm just going to, it's fine, we'll clean it up and wash the sheets, no big deal. And I go upstairs and I'm putting the sheets in the laundry room and my mom uh, peeks out of the room and she goes, you're fucking washing those sheets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my mom knows how I did she food. did she get up running like with her hands like ah <laughs> like downstairs. She was oh my god what happened and then she looked at oh, me. Oh like, my don't, god. Were you like, like don't drip you're gonna drip on the carpet no don't <laughs> get it all out first yeah get it all out of yeah well, your mom's Harsh. remarkably cool I couldn't have done I didn't do any shit when I was living in my mom's house like that yeah butt fuck. I didn't I had fuck my do first. anything. I was like Christian as shit. Yeah, I, but I had a... Uh, I keep it But it was, she was like a long-term yeah. girlfriend, though. How old were you when you were dating her? 17 to like 23 almost. Oh, yeah, wow. It was, it was, we were, you were like kid. It was like kid age still. Yeah. She was like 17 or something. Oh, yeah. Those are your best butt fuck years, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, had, I had a horrible experience the first time I had anal sex. Um, this girl I started dating. Tell him to weeks. slow down. Let me, oh, no, it was <laughs> damn. Aqua <laughs> for you, Frank. I didn't weigh him out. He was six three. Yeah. Uh, no, I, there's this girl that I started dating. I met her at junior college, and she used to drive me. Yeah, home. That's butt fuck that's, you, right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BFU. Yeah. <laughs> but I, that's I, you're thinking I, of Catholic college. I, I, no, so we, so we, we've been we, in the first two weeks. We've done everything you could possibly do. We, we had sex in like public places, on top of cars, whatever. And <laughs> on top finally, of cars. I, 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 like one, wait, what's in cars? random places. Like we did one. Young like, Turks. So we had yeah. sex at like the bond. Hey, hold on. She was clothes shopping. Put your foot in my my hands. I'm gonna get you on top of this <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Was it like natural born killers with ass prints on the cars. Yeah. <laughs> so we decide. <laughs> we are going to take, you know, I was going to go back to my place. We, I haven't had any of sex before. She said she's going to do it. And we start doing it. And she's like on top of me. Like, I guess, what is it? Reverse cowgirl, girl. And my yeah. legs are hanging over the bed. Now, keep this in mind. The girl, Kitty, is like, that's her name. Her name was like, her. Yeah, her name's Kitty. Kitty? I thought uh, you were from junior college. I was, I was about to ass? get the last name, too. And I was like, eh. Uh, her legs are like hanging on the floor. My feet are on the floor. We're doing reverse cowgirl. And she goes up too high. And my dick comes out of her ass. Oh, boy. And shit just goes... And hits me right oh. in my like right on the side of my cheek. Oh, she put that in the she's litter box. So, she's so light. She's That's like, called the Lemmy. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me the mole. <laughs> and she's so light that I grab both of her butt cheeks and just launch her into the air. And as she's going through the air, like shit is still coming. Oh, out. oh my god. Oh, she was ass. she was like it was chocolate like the, rain. <laughs> it was like the chocolate more chocolate rain. It was like the more you know star. <laughs> That's one to grow on. Uh, <laughs> the more you butt fuck. <laughs> What a complicated butt fuck position for your first time. Yeah, that's not. No, good. we had done we had done three others prior, but that was like at that time. I think when you're young, you think you have to do as many positions sexually when you first get started. As you get older, you realize maybe three at the most. Like right. nobody does more than missionary doggy girl on top. That is it. Into your thirties, you know what I mean. That's, like, that's true. A, this is a young man's game to go into six, seven positions. I'm very the, true. But there's dude, a lot I'm, of actually, variations. Now I'm so bad at sex. I just the only way I can really come is the girl has to lay flat, face down, and I just kind of lay on top of her behind and just kind of just dry hump slowly until. That's yeah, how you, that, yeah, that's, but that's how they how breed it. animals in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fuck like veal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let her legs yeah. touch the ground. It'll strain the meat. <laughs> Well, thank you all you guys for coming by. These thank have you. been two very fun shows. <laughs> yeah.
Want to thank all the campers for coming out to the two live shows. You can catch uh, Josh telling that same story on this new blues album. <laughs> Called Butt Fuck Blues. <laughs> Met a pretty woman. Dude ain't a woman. Check Jump out Tuesdays with Stories. Uh, Mark Norman and Joe List's podcast on iTunes. Check out Race Wars with Kurt Metzger and Sherrod Small. And make sure you check out the Goddamn Comedy Jam with Josh Ademeyer. Follow the bonfire at the bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Thanks to Merkface Andy and to Jacob. Jacob. And to Christine. Christine. And to everybody here at Moon Tower Festival. I love you, buddy. I love you, Buck Soder. I love you, Oscar Okerson. Thank you, Moon Tower. We'll see you down on the trail, campers. Yeehaw!